In a huge recent announcement, Microsoft has decided to abandon C and C++ and go full force on Rust. But why is Microsoft adopting Rust so aggressively? And what does this mean for Rust developers like you and me? It means there will now be an there will be an increase in the market by 120% new available jobs. We're literally going to go from 10 all the way up to 22 jobs. I hope everybody is excited about this. Like, man, there's going to be Rust jobs for everybody that is part of that 12 new jobs recently created. Like, we're going to, I mean, things are, we're doubling. We're, du we're doubling this year Rust jobs. Everybody get ready. I'm excited. You're excited. Let's do this. CEO time. Thank you, Oprah. Over the last several years, Microsoft has been taking bigger and bigger steps towards making Rust a critical part of its software stack. I've heard this. They're actually, like, trying to put it into places, right? You're addicted to Rust? Uh, yeah, you're addicted to Rust. That's, that's fair. Uh, the, thing, the thing about Rust is that uh, uh, it is addictive. All of a sudden, you'll find yourself talking to other developers about algebraic types. When you use Go, you're going to be like, oh, there's no algebraic types. Like, once you, start, once you start doing that, you know, things go wrong, okay? Things go real wrong. Micro hard is better than micro, uh, macro hard is better than Microsoft, absolutely. 2019, Microsoft started experimenting with migrating low-level Windows components from C and C++. In 2019, I didn't, I wasn't ready to experiment with Rust. You know, uh, you know, I know that you're supposed to, you know, experiment and really try to understand who you are. I just wasn't ready then. You know, I, I started in I think 2021 or something like that. It was good. To it's almost Rust, like algebraic and types. And stated that their early experiments were going well. In 2021, the Rust Foundation was formed, with Microsoft being one of its founding members. This completely explains everything. It all of a sudden makes so much sense. Every last part of this. Can't wait for trademark policy part two. Let's go. We're ready. Committing to invest at least $1 million per year towards funding the Rust project. In 2022, the CTO of Azure, Mark Rasunovich, posted a controversial... I remember this one. I like how he's just like, time to halt starting any new projects in C and C++. Um, I feel like there could be some reasons to use C or C++. Uh, C is really nice for embedded programming. I know people love Rust for embedded programming. And I think if it involved any form of moving items, like a just anything that could hurt me, I think I'd rather use Rust. Um, just because if I'm going to get my hand squashed, I'd rather get my hand squashed because of bad logic, not because I accidentally divided by zero or some nonsense. Not that Rust actually protects you against that. Anyways, uh, but I do like this idea of, yeah, yeah, the radiation therapy machine. Exactly. Uh, but then there's also like game development. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to just say that we shouldn't do game development anymore? I mean, it's a real thing that there's so much momentum and expertise you just go, just use Bevy. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, just use Bevy. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, hey, everybody else, uh, you're going to you're gonna fuck off because C++ doesn't exist anymore. It's stupid. We don't start new projects. We're going to just use Bevy. Yeah, yeah. We're going to just do that right now. It's just like, that's, it's probably not going to happen. You know what I mean? ...tweet stating it's time to stop using... Can you explain the difference between GC and non-GC? Yeah, GC keeps track of objects for you. Non-GC, you keep track of objects and you delete them when they're time to be deleted. C and C++ for new projects and instead you- This guy possibly can't work for a living? Probably not. When you're tweeting like this, you probably don't work, but don't worry, he's a VP. A VP, classic. Rust for projects where a non-garbage collected language is required. During a conference talk, Mark confirmed that this is actually a policy at Azure. Mark also mentioned that the Azure team was looking at converting existing C projects to Rust. And in May of 2023, Rust officially made its way into the Linux kernel, cementing its place in one of the most important code bases in the world. But Microsoft... Yeah, that explains more about Azure than anything else. Yeah, Azure. As you are. Everyone's favorite hosting platform. Um, is this why Azure is impossible to use? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, real talk. Uh, let's get Rusty just said that Windows 11 is one of the most important code bases of all time. How do you guys feel about that statement? I'm seeing a lot of L's. L take. Oh, you know what? I'm going to halt you guys right there, okay? I'm going to halt you right there. 
you know, my young adolescent brain would never have been where I'm at right now if it wasn't for Windows, okay? I learned to love the computer because I played Doom, okay? Doom was so good. It was so, so good. And then afterwards, Unreal came out with the Unreal Editor. Tell me for one moment that the Unreal Editor did not make you want to become a programmer. IDKFA, IDSPISPOPD. We all know that, okay? If you're not down with the IDSPISPOPD, you ain't down with nothing, okay? You're not down in this stream, you're gonna get banned. This most recent announcement is the single biggest step towards Rust adoption we've seen, and it's by far the most okay, what exciting. Is it? What is it? Dave Weston, the Vice President of Operating System Security and Enterprise at Microsoft, recently announced that Microsoft is going to invest $10 million into developer tooling to make Rust a first-class language at Microsoft. It's not Okay, so let's break that down for a second. What does $10 million mean? Well, first, David you got to remember that you got to first pay up the chain, right? So the the VP is going to take a good percentage of that along with all the directors and managers. So you got to fund all of that all the way up and down, okay? So now you got some hiring, you got you got hiring, you got all this. Okay. So really they're like investing like 6 million dollars into it, okay? Of the 6 million dollars, you got to remember at least 2 million is going to be sp just purely spent on stand-ups, retros and postmortems, okay? Just nothing but agile right? It's just like the Agile manifesto is going to happen. Okay, so the remaining 3 million will hire two Rust developers. They're going to get two Rust developers for approximately two years, increasing again the job market by several percentages. Like, I mean, we're talking, we're talking maybe even, maybe even two digit increase in the amount of Rust developing jobs available. So good. Yeah, yeah. How, how much of the... I didn't even talk about marketing. That was a good point. I completely missed the whole marketing part. No secret that memory bugs are a major security threat in Microsoft products, causing roughly 70% of all vulnerabilities. That's why Microsoft has been investing in a memory safe language like Rust so heavily. And it seems to be paying off because Microsoft has decided to double down. This investment is... Hold on, a hold on, hold on. Re re rewind that. I think I must have heard that incorrectly. Because I knew Microsoft was investing in something like Rust, but are they betting on Rust or are they betting on a, a separate thing like Rust? ...threat in Microsoft products, causing roughly 70% of all vulnerabilities. That's why Microsoft has been investing in a memory-safe language like Rust so heavily. And it seems to be paying off because Microsoft has decided to double down. This Is it R-sharp? Are we getting R-sharp? We're getting R-sharp. We're getting R-sharp. Let's go. R-sharp. We're going to do this. Dude, I can't wait for R Sharp. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. It's going to have everything you've ever wanted. Crab Sharp, Crystal, <laughs> .NET R Sharp. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This investment is a crystal clear signal of the company's commitment to the language. It will open the door for Rust to be used by the 100,000 plus developers employed by Microsoft, meaning more software will get built in Rust and more. Can I, hold on, rewind that. What did I just hear? to the language. It will open the door for Rust to be used by the 100,000 plus developers employed. There's 100,000 developers at Windows? Or I mean, at Microsoft? That's so many, you know? When you think about it, that's just so many people. I mean, I know they make a lot of products. It just feels like a lot. 99,000 work at Azure Air. That's why it's only semi-shitty. Classic, classic, semi-shitty. Each responsible for 10 lines of code. I mean, like, really, how many? I mean, Excel's big. Obviously, Access, the world's greatest database, probably also garners many hundreds of developers. They have a shit ton of divisions. I know, it's just crazy. By Microsoft, Minecraft, meaning more Xbox, software will get built in Rust and more Rust job opportunities will become available. MS Paint, I'm incredibly happy to devs. hear this news, but let me know what you guys think about this latest development in the comment section below. Before you go, make Friends, sure to get your free Rust end. cheat sheet by heading over hey, to letsgetrusty.com right let's cheat, cheat sheet. Hope you've enjoyed the video and remember to stay rusty. So hey, to be fair, I've actually never looked at letsgetrusty.com uh, slash cheat sheet. Let's look at it right now. Cheat sheet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you get a little, you get a little newsletter. You get a little, you get a little newsletter. You know what? I'm going to sign up right here, right now. You know why? Because I don't got anything against you. Let's get rusty. Why don't you quit attacking me needlessly? Okay. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about that? Okay. It's in the spam folder potentially, but we got it.
we got that PDF. The name is you should always watch the videos to the end and then hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed like I am, okay? That's what you do when you like somebody, okay? That's what you do. Do you guys do that? And why is Microsoft investing in Rust? I don't really quite get it. Uh, I mean, I get it for the whole Windows thing, but man, $10 million? You know, when you really think about it, that's not very, very much. I mean, how much does Microsoft spend on, on, uh, on staff right now per year? I bet you it's literally billions, a couple billion dollars. I don't think it's very much. The name is about three fifty a gen.